Welcome to the AZ Mount Pro instructional setup video. First, the mount and its main parts are included in this carrying case. The default parts should include the main mount, a hand controller, a power adapter, and an RS-232 cable. Optional accessories include an additional dovetail, torque handles, and a tripod bag. Next, we will set up the mount on the tripod. The tripod used for the AZ Mount Pro includes three leveling screws. Attach the screws to the mount as shown here. However, it is better to avoid screwing them all the way in. Then, we will place the mount on the tripod. As you can see here, the mount is designed to be placed on top of the leveling screws. After the mount is placed, you can turn the leveling screws to easily level the mount. Next, you will have to lock the mount to the tripod. Push up this bolt and tighten the locking knob to the mount. You can make sure the mount is still properly level. Next, we are attaching the tripod support spreader. Remove this knob as shown here. Then, slide on the support spreader. This will help to hold the tripod legs in place. Place the knob back on the bottom to hold the spreader in place. Before fully tightening the tripod, ensure the mount is level by observing the leveling bubble. The AZ Mount Pro has a charging port, a power switch, a hand controller port, and an RS-232 port. The AZ Mount Pro is battery operated and is charged using the charging adapter. When charging, the charging indicator will blink accordingly to show the level of charge. To avoid battery damage, avoid charging when it is below 0 degrees Celsius. Now we will attach a telescope to the AZ Mount Pro. Loosen the screws on the main dovetail saddle, then slide in the telescope and re-tighten the screws. Next, you want to make sure the telescope is properly balanced. Loosen the handle on the mount as seen here, then you can turn the telescope sideways. Adjust the telescope's position in the dovetail saddle until it can balance roughly parallel to the ground, though slightly front heavy as this helps prevent the clutch from loosening. Next, we will be setting up a counterweight. Turning this knob on the mount allows you to use a built-in counterweight rod, as seen here. Then, attach the counterweight to the counterweight rod. Loosen the counterweight screw shown here. Then place the counterweight on the counterweight shaft. Then tighten the screw to secure it. You can place the counterweight at variable positions on the shaft, allowing you to adjust the counterweight based on the weight of the telescope. You can also adjust the counterweight shaft itself. This will allow you to adjust the counterweight balance while keeping the counterweight on the end of the rod. To determine the best position for the counterweight, the weight times the distance of the counterweight should be equal to the telescope. The mount can tolerate an error of 7 pounds in azimuth and 1 pound in altitude. We will now demonstrate the optional second dovetail. Use the counterweight rod and place the dovetail on the end, similar to the counterweight. Then, simply place the second telescope on the dovetail, similar to the first telescope. Once finished, this is what your setup should look like. One other optional feature is a set of four torque handles. Torque handles are simply screwed into the four holes on the mount's large knob seen here. Now, we will activate and use the mount. Once activated, you will see this screen on the hand controller. To continue, press enter 
or simply ignore it. To cancel, simply press the back button. If you choose to continue, then the mount will perform a self-calibration without human assistance. Once complete, the mount should be properly aligned on its own. After calibration, you can verify the settings on the hand controller seen here, the time settings in particular. Otherwise, these settings should be automatically calibrated. After a moment, the mount will automatically slew to a target. Once the mount has slewed to its target, you can use the arrow keys on the hand controller to manually adjust the mount and sync to target. This is equivalent to a one star alignment. You can also use multiple star alignments. To slew to another target, choose Select and Slew on the hand controller and pick from the list of targets. You can choose any target that is currently above the horizon. To return the mount to the zero position, simply select and choose zero position and select go to zero position. If you have to adjust the zero position, simply adjust the mount as necessary and then select set zero position. Finally, you can manually slew the mount using the arrow keys on the hand controller. To set the speed of the slew, press the number keys on the hand controller, with 9 being the fastest. If the mount has only just performed a self-calibration and automatic slew, the manual slew will only work sideways in azimuth. Otherwise, the mount can slew in any direction. The AZ Mount Pro also has built-in Wi-Fi, allowing you to use any connected device such as a laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Please refer to the manual for full instructions. This completes the AZ Mount Pro instructional video.